So far in November of this year, I've put up two separate videos all around icon packs, and that's because they are a great way to customize your Android device to give it that look and feel that you're actually going for. Now, there are some other ways to customize your device, and today we're gonna to be focusing on widgets. So, let's take a look. Now for me, the main two widget applications are gonna be Zuper Widget and also KWGT. And KWGT is the one that we're gonna be looking at today as it's the one that I've used the least, but I'm really intrigued to see exactly what it offers. Now this is gonna be a super simple video in regards to widgets. Obviously with these sort of applications, there's a ton of things that you can do to customize your Android device. But what we're gonna be looking at today is the different types of widget packs and also how to actually use them once you've got them loaded on your device. And as you can see, the type of widget and also the information you get is extremely diverse. So ideally, you want to start off with a blank space. As you can see here, I've removed everything from the top of my device, long press, and then go down onto widgets. Now, an example of a very simple widget would be another widget, which you can't really customize or change, and you can't really make it feel exactly how you want it to. It's very simple to do, and there's a ton of these in the Play Store, but if you are looking for something very simple that you don't need to do much work with, this is definitely an option. However, what we're going to be looking at today is an application called KWGT. Now there's both a free version and also a pro version available in the Play Store. And as always, both are gonna be linked in the description down below. Now just to give you guys a very quick example of what we can do here, I'm just gonna make an extremely large widget. So you tap and hold and you can resize this shape to anything that you want, whether that's gonna be four by one, four by four, two by four, you can get it exactly how you want to have it for each individual widget that you want to apply to the home screen. Once you've then tapped on the widget, it's gonna take you to your installed widgets. Now, as I mentioned, we're keeping this very simple, so we're just gonna use ones that you can get direct from the Play Store. So as you can see here, we've got certain things like Trident 3 and also Wolfie, and if you click into them, you can see each individual widget within that pack, or you can scroll through all of the available widgets that you've got here, and as you can see, a lot of widget packs come with a ton of different widgets to choose from, so you can kind of get the look and feel that you want. And for me, I really like the look of this very simple date and also time widgets. So again, this is the one that we're gonna be using. Now down the bottom, you can see that you've got a bunch of different options to choose from. So you can look into the individual layers of the actual widget itself, change certain aspects in regards to what the widget does once pressed. And for me, the main one that I use is the scaling option to get the right size for the widgets on my home screen. Now we're going for something big and bold here. So I want it to be as big as possible, as you can see here. So again, once you're set and ready to go, all you need to do is click on the save button in the top right hand corner and once you press your home button it's all going to be loaded and you're ready to go now it acts just like a normal widget would on your home screen so a long press will allow you to resize the widget move it around and get that exact size that you want for your setup and to be honest guys, in terms of setting the widget and a really simple introduction, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video. Now I'm gonna be doing some more videos moving forward in regards to a lot more detail and a lot more in terms of what you can do with widget packs, whether that's creating your own, changing the form or function of an existing one, and just in general getting that setup that you want. And there's gonna be a ton of stuff that we're gonna be looking at. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. If you've got anything that you want me to look at with regards to widgets in the future, let me know in the comments section or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. I'm Michael, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.